Once upon a time, in the mountains called Five Tigers, it was raining heavily. Lightning was striking and thunder was thundering. It was in this place that our hero named Hoika appeared. He was incredibly surprised that he was still alive. The immortal king master of the Shinyan school of all times was dead a long time ago, but it turned out to be just a legend. Once upon a time, he fought with demons that invaded the Shunyan continent and decided to capture it. It was a real massacre of the millennium. Of course, he did everything possible to protect his territory. Hoika remembered that in that bloody massacre, he fought with a huge monster that threatened all living things. He has been fighting demons for hundreds of years, and only at this moment he was still able to live. And when all the stars had already stopped shining, and the continent was completely destroyed, they managed to kill all those demons. In order to save the dying immortal king, immortal monk Baidong and immortal Lucy united the mortal king with the core of the Suyan continent, after which he was placed in this magical sarcophagus. They performed the ritual. At this place there was a fissure in the ground. They lowered him into this fissure. All the magicians and two immortals, combining their energies, directed it into this crack directly at the sarcophagus so that it could soon be healed. Hoika didn't expect that they would actually be able to save him and doesn't know how long he slept. He began to leave his crypt. Having opened the doors that went outside after so many hundreds of years, he was able to breathe fresh air again. He was able to breathe again. And it seemed like he was really happy about this air. After defeating the foreign demons, he felt that the spiritual energy of the Suyan continent had returned to its peak. Judging by the density of spiritual energy, Beidong and Luce have made great progress. Perhaps they too have become immortal kings. There was an excursion to the Mountain of Five Tigers. The guide told us that at the top of the mountain, there is a temple of the Immortal Master. She also said that the Immortal Master had been dead for a long time and was buried somewhere in these mountains. But there are legends that whoever finds his body will find the fate of the Great Immortal. The guy asked the guide a question. He is not sure that the fate of the Immortal is worth much, and what he is really interested in is how long they will continue to climb these steps because he is already dying of fatigue. The girl replied that he was almost there and suggested that everyone take a short break. Hoika was surprised that he didn't see a single chi practitioner. Hoika possessed awareness of other energies, as well as a sense of power. He saw that these teenagers were in terrible physical shape. What a waste of such a large amount of spiritual energy, he thought. Some guy screamed so that they all turned their attention to the mountain. It looked like some person was going to jump off the cliff. And so it was. There was a guy standing on the edge of the cliff. This is Lin Feng. He is a freshman at Lujing University. He is 19 years old. All the people came to persuade him that this young man was still too young, and also that he should not be so impulsive. And they all told him not to do this and to think about his family. This is just an ordinary show-off, said one of the extreme guys. He heard that those who really want to commit suicide usually look for places where no one will see them. After which he jumped off the cliff and rushed down to meet his imminent death. The whole crowd looked at this guy with a condemning and angry look because all the blame was on him. Parenbi began to make excuses that he didn't say anything like that and that he had nothing to do with it. Hoika said that a person who commits suicide will not be able to become part of the circle of reincarnation. So he wanted this person to thank his fate for having met him today. After which he added, jumping out to intercept this madman, that it was a great honor. And without reaching the goal, he was able to intercept it. He realized that he couldn't do anything and was just flying with him. He even panicked a little. After which I realized that he also did not know how to fly as before. People were shocked that this guy actually just jumped after him. The lady said that maybe they should leave this place. It's somehow too strange. After which both jumpers landed on the ground with such force that the ground beneath them was all cracked. The gentleman only thought about what was happening to him. The immortal king is not capable of flying through the air. How is this possible? Is it really all because all his strength was spent on restoring his health? But he also noticed that some kind of lightning was descending around him. At this moment the young master entered the inner world. Once in the inner world, he saw that the core with which he was united by other immortals became very furious. Seeing what was going on inside him, it was terrible to watch. To such a vision, everything is on fire. Also flying a little further through his inner body, he continued to study. He was able to discover large volcanoes that, once spewing fiery lava, destroyed the entire space around. Hoika understood that the three small worlds were destroyed, which caused damage to his body as an immortal king and it turns out that his cultivation fell to the level of purification, and it is not surprising that he cannot fly, the king thought. Spiritual energy turns into liquid and gathers into a huge sea of energy. This energy is too unstable. If he calls it by force, a terrible catastrophe can occur. 
If the sea of this spiritual energy ignites, it will not be enough to destroy this world ten times over. In this case, he realized that fortunately there was another small world that remained untouched. He who took the body of that guy, and also he himself disappeared into his own world, which was stored in his subconscious. He understood that even though he failed to save his life, their meeting was destined by fate itself. At the moment, he is at the level of chi purification, and because of which he will not be able to bring him back to life. But in this small world, he will be able to keep his body and soul intact in such a way that when he returns his powers, he will still be able to resurrect him. The master decided to use his soul-searching technique to find out a little more about him, after which he asked him to let him look at his memories. So looking into his memories, he saw the history of mankind, as was the epic times, in which wars controlled water supplies, followed by ancient Egypt and the tomb of the Pharaoh. Already further is the Mount of Saints and the Crucifixion. Well, what would it be like without modern wars, the age of modernity? He saw how this man was seriously ill and was undergoing treatment. He realized that he suffered from illnesses and did not want to be a burden to his family. So he decided to end his life. This explains a lot of things, the gentleman thought. He couldn't imagine that by the time he returned and opened his eyes, the Shuan continent would cease to exist and turn into the blue planet, which it is quite well at the moment. But also all of his friends from the past have long since passed away. Hoika realized that people had forgotten how to cultivate immortality, and it is not surprising that this world is so rich in spiritual energy. The same forests, mountains, oceans, and spiritual veins are constantly fed by spiritual energy. The core of the continent plays an important role as its regulator. Most likely it is afraid that an excess amount of spiritual energy can cause massive spiritual explosions. So the excess spiritual energy of this world flows into its inner world. In fact, thanks to this core, he was able to survive even when on the verge of death, in which case it is clear that because of this, he is currently at the level of key purification, being incapable of even such simple actions as flying. After those two jumped there, they sent out the police, who discussed among themselves that the two who jumped off the cliff must have been somewhere ahead. But they should check all the surroundings, just in case the animals stole the corpses. Therefore, you need to be careful, one of the policemen said. Hoika passing by was seen by a policeman, who at first was just walking, and then one of them noticed something unusual about this gentleman. He decided to ask one of the policemen that this man was similar to the second man who jumped off the cliff in that video. At least the clothes were the same, to which his partner said that it was unlikely that it was possible that someone was able to move after jumped from such a height. The police only said that in their days, such traditional Chinese costumes are very popular among young people. It is quite normal to stumble upon someone else wearing a similar costume. The gentleman was able to come to the Five Tiger Mountain, on which was the palace of the immortal master. He decided to look into his ancient palace and see what happened to them. There was an old man who said that this palace has a rich history from the time of the first generation of immortals. More than 2,000 years have passed. This is the oldest sacred ancestral abode in their country. Some guy suddenly ran in to see the old man. He shouted that things were bad, and it seemed to him that something had happened. The master did not understand what the problem was. The master decided to remind him that the practitioners of his generation were most afraid of such impetuosity. Also, the old man told this young guy that there is no need to be so nervous, because doesn't he see that they have guests? But the guy only said that this was very serious, and that it was true that something too impossible might have happened. The old man decided to listen to the boy, and asked him to whisper in his ear what he had learned. He said that two people had just committed suicide by jumping from a cliff, after which the old man shouted at him for not telling him earlier. The guy just lowered his head down and told the old man that he couldn't see that he told him not to be nervous no matter what was happening. He's been standing at the door for quite some time, but you can't hold on any longer. The master just shouted at the poor guy saying that there are priorities and why he doesn't know how to think rationally. He behaves like a pig and also a stupid head. Calling the guy names, of course, he wouldn't have achieved anything. But that's the way he is because that was important to him. Important too. After which he apologized to the guests said that something had happened to them and he had to deal with it personally. So he asked them to wait for him and soon he would return to them and continue. The old man went out into the yard with the guy. The guy said that the video of the jump was uploaded to the internet and now everyone is saying that their mountain is cursed. The old man was worried that this could become a big problem for them because here not one but two decided to jump. This is too much. This could attract even more media attention to them if suddenly there are people who finance them. One unknown person appeared in the video, 
whom the master immediately recognized and could not understand if this was reality. Right before his eyes, he saw the person whom he had blessed for thousands of years and also his ancestors. Is this the same gentleman? The old man thought. The master decided to ask the guy if this video was real and it couldn't be some kind of trick or video editing, to which he replied that he happened to be there when they were jumping and saw it with his own eyes. The old man knew that after so many years, he had finally waited for his teacher and decided to ask the guy if he still remembered the story about the origin of the palace when he came to him. The boy told him that how could he forget about this because he talked during the excursion and talked about the immortal who was buried on this mountain, whose soul was the guardian of the tomb for many years. The master looked far into the sky and told the guy that as his teacher he would tell him something. This story is not fiction. It is passed down from generation to generation to the masters of their palace, and he can also believe it. The guy decided to tell him that it sounds like, to put it mildly, like a fairy tale. Why then? The guy decided to offer the old man to go down from the mountain. He doubted that the master was thinking soberly, and his physical condition was not so good. He's been too stressed lately. After which he got hit in the back of the head for such words. The master told him that if he continues to say such nonsense, he will grow up to be real garbage. The boy told the old man that he was not the first to start saying stupid things, but the old man told the boy that for many years, he was completely alone as the guardian of the mountain, and he himself always retold the stories of his ancestors. The guy thought that it was probably all because of the money that visitors to the palace left him, but the master continued to talk further. This story began with a painting. One day, the master handed it to him and said that this painting was one of the greatest treasures of the immortal master's palace. Then he was young and energetic, he did not believe the words of the master and tried to burn the painting. As a result, a flame escaped from the fire and spread to the master's house, and unfortunately the master died, and he also suffered from severe burns, after which he called the guy to follow him. He showed him this same picture in that picture in the secret room of the palace of the immortal master. The old man took out his phone to compare the person in the picture and the person in the video. The resemblance is striking. They are like two peas in a pod, the old man thought. They started arguing. The guy says it's just a coincidence. The master says that such a coincidence cannot just happen. The hairstyle and clothes are exactly the same as in the picture. He had never shown this picture before. No one could copy this role model. The old gentleman said that if you believe the legend, then this is a good sign for them, and soon the immortal will come to the temple. He said to get ready for the guy to follow him. The guy didn't fully understand why. These people committed suicide by jumping from a cliff. Will they really go collect the corpses? but then he decided to discard these crazy thoughts and just follow the master. Meanwhile, Hoika only observed nature, as well as all these beauties that he had not seen for more than a thousand years. He thought that this place was the most beautiful on earth. He saw that the water in the pond was trapped. The heavenly path is locked and hidden from the human world. Now it is different and not the same as before. Suddenly the Hoika saw thunder, as well as clouds that suddenly appeared right in front of him. Then one of the lightning strikes a tree nearby, causing it to crack and fall except it didn't look like an ordinary coincidence, but rather like a nasty message that he watched as the fireball in the sky turned into an eye. Koika saw the eye and decided to turn to it and shouted into the sky that he is the heavenly way, and you are something that should not exist. He invited this eye to fight with him and will come down to him if he wants, after which the eye suddenly disappeared and everything began to shine again as if nothing had happened. Apparently, the eye was frightened by his strength, although the Hoika thought this was rather strange. But he realized that this world is too crazy. The heavenly path seems to be hidden from people by some kind of material, and people themselves have forgotten how to raise immortals. Someone is directing all this chaos from behind the scenes, and people are most likely in a kind of captivity of such an existence. Mr. Truth did not understand what such truth could lead to, and also what these people who simply live on their own, without understanding anything around them, and without even mastering any spiritual energy can do. But he understood that it was very easy to return to the top as he did 2,000 years ago, until the connection between the core of his world and the earth was violently severed. The spiritual energy of the planet is disappearing, but everything will be corrected when the shackles from his world fall away. This will cleanse the core and stabilize the foundation of the world. You need to take one more step to achieve the status of the immortal emperor, and then, no matter what, all the demons will be destroyed. All this time, spiritual energy had nowhere to go. Releasing it would inevitably lead to a surge that would destroy heaven and earth. By that time, 99% of all life will no longer exist, 
civilization will be overtaken by a catastrophe that can no longer be avoided. Therefore, something will need to be done about this, thought the gentleman. Also in this world, there is the Internet, which can be used in a convenient way. It will be great. There are various interesting games that people play, for example, Dota 2. But of course, it was not clear what they wanted to say by this. You see, all their mothers seem to be healthy. But what can you do? This is the reality of their existence. Portable communication devices are also good. It would be a pity if such a digital civilization were simply destroyed. The master did not feel very good, because he had been fighting various demons for hundreds of years. And as soon as he woke up, he urgently needed to look for a way to save the earth. Being an immortal king was so tiring, the master thought. He was also wondering if there was another way to bring him back to the top. After all, when he started his practices, the first exercise that he started to practice was basic and he simply ignited it inside his body, thereby increasing it. It not only has the effect of quickly absorbing spiritual energy, but it also lays the root of all other practices. The cores of his world and the earth have long been united into one. Their properties coincide. There are already enough monks on earth, practically his students. Perhaps they can help him in this matter. In this way, he will be able to reach the previous level without actually straining much. The mirror attracts everything that is connected to itself. Using it, you can calculate the probability. Each of the mirrors speaks about something, for example. Among monks who practice in no key, 100 can restore it. It seems quite real. But first you will need 100 monks who study key. This is not that difficult, but problems may arise as the level increases. The higher the kingdom, the more difficult it is to achieve. To restore stage 80, 100 monks from the ascension stage are needed. Even in the most glorious times of the continent, the task was not easy to go to, not to mention the earth. The young master will have to start all over again. But the master knew that it would be difficult, and would it be worth it? That it would not be worth someone's life to reverse what happened to all of us after the invasion of demons. The path is not really close, but first you need a hundred people studying Chi. In the directory the guy found suitable people, regardless of the era. The ability of young people to learn and perceive new information is much higher than that of ordinary people. If he wants to change the world, he needs to change the youth. He turned around and wanted to leave to look for everyone. But he heard that someone was asking him for forgiveness. Turning around, the gentleman saw two strangers who asked for forgiveness for some unknown reason. He didn't know what they were doing here at all and how they could find him, and how they knew who he was. The guy decided to ask them without looking if they knew who he was. After which the old man decided to show the poster, and said that their palace had been guarding the mountain for generations, waiting for his awakening. They all saw the sign from heaven and immediately ran here, but they never expected to meet it here. Having looked carefully at the picture, the gentleman realized that the man really looked like him. Perhaps this is true, but he also saw that it was written, Legacy of the Sunset. So the master immediately realized that this woman who painted the portrait had not changed a bit. She had put all her strength into this portrait to make it immortal. In general, a lot has changed since previous years. But if Baidong and Lao Xia had disappeared, humanity would not be in this situation. The old man and the guy bowed to him and also said that they had been keeping his portrait for many years in the hope of following him. And now this moment has come. He is standing right in front of him. The gentleman thought that as soon as he decided to allow people to practice that qi technique, there were two willing ones. Well, that's a good start. The gentleman thought that it was a pity that the spirit of these people is so meager. They could become his disciples. But still, this is a good idea, and you also need to tell them that let the old man get up first. The gentleman thought that the old man looked like an immortal. Is it possible to allow him to stand in front and help him with his recovery? The guy was used to doing everything in silence, and he didn't like being looked at. So he decided to give the old man a book that would practice Qi, and also added that after they had mastered it, they should activate it and promote it among others. The old man immediately accepted this book with such a blessing as if God had become a master for him, who had dedicated him to his brotherhood. This was for him the happiest day of his life. The gentleman told them that he would see if they handled it well and decide whether to teach them the next stage of cultivation. They both replied that they would both try and do their best and would also spread this technique everywhere as soon as they could. Grandfather immediately asked the gentleman whether he had a place to stay, because even if not, let him not forget that the palace of the immortal master was his second home, to which the gentleman replied that there was no point in trying so hard, because he had somewhere to go. But then he remembered that they should take him to the University of Litzen. The guy wanted to tell him that the road along the river was too bad, and it would be faster for him to fly there than to walk. After which he received a hit on his hat from the old man, 
who tells him that you cannot mislead yourself in this way with a great master. The guy ran away from pain, and also from regrets about what he had done. While the old man said that if the master wants to know this world, he should return to the palace and use their car. The gentleman thought that of course he wouldn't say this, but for reference he doesn't know how to fly yet, much less drive a car, and he doesn't know where the university is located either. They got into the car and all drove into the city together to get to the university. The master and also the gentleman were interested in looking at how people developed. It was incredible how they moved from ordinary buildings into such skyscrapers. Perhaps the progress was not so bad, he thought. The gentleman. The car was comfortable, thought mister. Are they really so rich that they do such comfortable services for them? But in general, the building is quite tall and beautiful, but this square shape makes it look like a prison. They stopped right in front of the pedestrian crossing where there was a traffic light. At this pedestrian crossing, there were people crossing with or without children. The gentleman found it quite interesting to see such a progressive world as he saw. The old man decided to ask the master. If he still wants to experience the features of student life, then he should change clothes because his clothes are very conspicuous. Of course, they will buy him everything he needs for his studies and prepare everything well for student life. Finally, they arrived at the long-awaited university, which welcomed new applicants, and this university was called Lujing University. Finally, the gentlemen and all of them gathered and stopped near this luxurious university, which was located in one of the most popular points of the city. Having changed clothes, he looked quite fashionable for this world and even cool. The gentleman definitely liked it. The old man bought all this. He said that these were all the necessary items for freshmen. A phone, a laptop, a tablet, and stuff like that. The old man also decided to ask, does he really want to be escorted? Well, the gentleman replied that no, let them just stay here. In this case, the old gentleman said that then he returns home. If he needs anything, just let him use his mobile device, and he will always be in touch. Everything is linked to his bank card, and there is plenty of money there, so he can use it freely. The guy decided that perhaps this scroll could be stolen and even used anywhere, so he asked the old man to keep this scroll with him. In fact, this is a powerful weapon, and he activated it especially for them, and if faced with danger, he will use the power of this scroll to protect himself. They both especially thanked the old man, saying that this scroll would be treasured most of all by them and it was also very nice to receive a gift from the immortal master. After they both got into the car, the guy decided to ask the master something. If the guy understood correctly, he was saying that he had never before shown himself to be a master in any way. Isn't it too hasty to put at his disposal all the treasures of his temple? The old man decided to answer his partner that he was too young and inexperienced, and did not understand the true power of the master. Every step, every movement of his hands contains true strength, and not to mention everything else, even seeing the decline his clan had fallen into, he did not abandon them. The girls admired the fact that the freshmen this year were simply unimaginably handsome. They just wanted to look at him like a new student. They all insisted that they only wanted to look at him, and their legs seemed to give way from his energy. They were, of course, sorry that he doesn't study with them. The gentleman decided to go up to the counter with a sign, Faculty of Computer Science. He was interested in what it was and how it was. So this is a young girl a computer science teacher, and the guy standing next to her is a second-year student at the Faculty of Computer Science. The girl said that the documents are not the same, because the photo is different. He decided to use his magical technique, which allows him to force the victim to agree with him with a stern look, after which he told her to double-check again. She must have made a mistake. Since the power of the Earth's core is inside the Immortal Master, he himself is the embodiment of the truth of will. In telling them the words, the will of the earth is embedded. A simple person will not be able to resist them. And therefore the girl replied that apparently she really made a mistake the first time. Therefore the girl asked the students to take him to the dormitory, to which the guy agreed. The students asked where his luggage was, to which he replied that it was in his hand. The guy told him that if you have money, there shouldn't be any problems. Uniforms and shoes can be purchased directly at this university, so everything is fine. Ordinary people here are clearly uncomfortable, but many of them are forced to save for their studies for many months, the student told the gentleman. Hansi Chin is a third-year student at Lujing University. The guy decided to pay attention to her and saw that she reminded him of someone in his life, more precisely 2,000 years ago. There are definitely spiritual root lines inside this girl. That's why she can have power. But the student accompanying him told him not to think about courting Han. The gentleman decided to ask what he was talking about, to which this guy replied that she is not only the main beauty of their university, but the only daughter of the richest man in this city, 
Everyone who pursues her sooner or later ends up behind bars. This sounds very dangerous. The student said that their prince of basketball, Chijan Hao, in an attempt to hit on her, refused invitations from leading teams and even transferred here from Beijing just to chat with her and get closer. Hoika realized that there are individuals here who will obviously be rich. In fact, he just wants to make her his student so that she can manifest her ki -e. But she also very much resembled a student from his clan, Zuantian, the lunar spiritual root, the root of spiritual power that is extremely rare even among immortals. And Lacey had it, which is why he became interested in her. Even the appearance seemed familiar to the gentleman, but the same spiritual root is also similar whether it exists in this world. Maybe this is reincarnation, the gentleman thought. In fact, whether it is reincarnation or not does not change the meaning. If he wants to restore his cultivation level, he needs to acquire a hundred disciples. With the help of Hui Fan, he will spread his teachings. So this can be considered a temporary solution to the current problem. But when these students increase their level, those of them whose mediocre abilities become useless, you need to find a true genius, recruit him as a student, and adequately train him in order to raise your own level thought. Hoika? Well, maybe slightly this girl is the most suitable option who can grow up to the ideal, and in principle everything will be fine. However, you need to accept students patiently and without rushing. And also there is no need for rush here. The most important thing the gentleman thought was not to scare off his main student. While he was thinking, the girl noticed him and decided to take a good look at him to find out whether he was new or not. Her friend immediately noticed that Sister Chin had a crush on this freshman, to which she replied that no, he just seemed familiar to her. Also, the dormitory was a rather large building in which the students themselves lived. The student led the gentleman to his apartment. It was number 315. He also stated that he would not live alone. He said that he would leave him here and now he wishes him a successful settlement. Going inside, he saw three students at once who looked like different types of people. Since he arrived quite late, he would have to share the room with students of other specialties. So the first person is the Faculty of Physical Education, and his name is Luo Yang. Next in line is the Faculty of Chinese Language and Literature, and it's Liu Quan. Well, also the quietest of them, the Faculty of Computer Science, already calls him Zhang Ji. Luo Yang finally noticed the gentleman and said that he had finally arrived. They already thought that there wouldn't be a new guy, and he wouldn't want to move in. Also, when everyone was assembled, he decided to propose that he would be in charge, and also noted that he hoped that no one would revive if he was the one. But no one even paid attention to this, so he told everyone that he would consider it and regard it as agreement. Two months after his admission, Hoika decided to go to the library and read local literature, because he was interested in what young people were interested in now. Books are very important, he thought because it was from them that he received knowledge 2,000 years ago. And he also noticed that these two months were enough to form a general idea of this world. This world is dominated by technologies that can be rocket launching or artificial intelligence, as well as cars that look very modern. One of the recent ones was released by Elon Musk, who created an electric car. There is too much religion for this reason. Taoism is in decline. People here do not struggle from birth with aging diseases and death. Heaven does not recognize boundaries and does not make anyone an exception in this world. And many historical figures also attracted his attention. He has no equal in spiritual strength, but his knowledge about the world is still limited. There is also a philosophy of such people, also called Superman, essentially superiority over oneself and the revelation of the infinity of one's own capabilities. In his time, every cultivator was akin to a rebel. Eager to surpass himself, he felt sorry that the path to heaven was closed. Otherwise, there would be one more immortal king. And he might not have noticed that the same girl he saw was sitting in the library. And her friend is her roommate, and this could be a good lead-in to a conversation for both of them. Also, this girl is truly the beauty throughout the college. And she still looks very much like a student of his clan. Even though there are more than ten meters between them, reading in the same room with the goddess is so motivating. In fact, everyone around was talking about it. Also, many of the guys who were sitting and reading were only thinking about why this punt sat next to her. Apparently, they didn't like her. A friend decided to ask, Will Sister can continue to read all this for a long time? She suggested maybe we go shopping. She wants to buy herself something there. The friend continued that she couldn't help but notice that they were all staring at Can. So she asked those who were trying to prepare for exams here to sit, since her friend crossed the threshold of the library. Every day the place is becoming more and more crowded. She continued that it seemed to her that more and more people were here, not because there were interesting books, but because of her. Also, 
a girl named Chin decided to pay attention to the guy on the right when her sister friend decided to look where she was looking. She at least looked in that direction. Even some guy thought that this girl was looking at him and that meant she was interested in him. But in fact, she was at least looking in that direction. But she was looking at a completely different person. A friend even asked her sister whether she was even listening to her or not. The girl looked at the same freshman who was reading the book. The girl only admits that this freshman is damn attractive, but he's a nerd sitting with his face buried in them. And yes how? He's far away. Chin was offended by her friend. She decided to leave so that she would not even remind the name of how. While she was looking down, she didn't even pay attention to where she was going. After which, hitting some cabinet, she began to fall to the ground and even panicked a little. But the hoika quickly reacted and decided not to let it, and caught her so that she would not fall with her soft body on the floor. The gentleman told her that she needed to be careful and therefore asked her to give her his hand, but Chin blushed and also could not help herself. But still, when she realized what she had done, she decided to give him her hand. The gentleman realized that the problem with the spiritual fluid was disrupted, as well as the operation of the valves. Everyone who read here and paid attention to this, they all just talked about why this guy was so lucky. Why didn't their goddess fall next to them? The gentleman paid attention to how her hands and strength were made. He realized that due to the long sleep he had forgotten a lot. He forgot that the lunar spiritual root actively absorbs spiritual energy, transforming it into spiritual liquid without special cultivation techniques. An ordinary mortal body will not be able to bear a large amount of spiritual liquid. Over time, the spiritual power will simply absorb her body. Therefore, it is necessary to get rid of this energy as soon as possible before she can master it. So the gentleman decided to suck out a little to make her feel better. After that, he decided to ask her. She felt better, to which the girl decided to ask how he did it. Is he really a doctor? Chin's friend screamed at the guy and said, What is he doing to her immediately? Let him remove only his hands. The gentleman decided to tell her to rest when she feels better. It's better that she find him, and he will help her. To which Chin's friend got even more angry and said that who does he think you are? No one can even look at Chin. How dare he say that she should find him? This is completely without the bounds of decency to communicate with the lady. But the girl said that she accepted his invitation, and she would come when she felt better. And her friend almost turned into a stone from what she heard. Did he really seduce Chin, or, on the contrary, is she a fool who fell for his tricks? After which she asked her sister if she was seriously going to look for him later. The guy looking at this could not say anything to friend Chin. So they left. The gentleman understood that she had no traces of cultivation. If he had not helped remove some of her fluids, he would not have understood how long she would have lived. Therefore, he needs to act as quickly as possible. Also, this is not the end. There were a bunch of guys behind him who just said that why he held hands with her, and also not only held hands, but also agreed on another meeting. Someone even thought that it seemed. Or she blushed from that moment. Let's need rather get rid of him, they all hated this guy because he came to them just recently and was able to get her heart. The guy was walking to his home when suddenly his smartphone buzzed and he couldn't understand why. He had never done this before. After looking, he saw that this old man wrote something to him. He said that he had good news for the guy. He and Xiao had already reached the initial stage of purification and were planning to promote their teachings online using a live broadcast and use their students for this. The gentleman understood that a live broadcast is an option and it's really a good idea that the audience will come there. They will be interested in what they are doing to them, and if they showed some other tricks that people would be interested in, they can really strain themselves at this event, and in this case there will be a lot of people willing try yourself as a student. The technology of this world is truly amazing, thought the gentleman. Wow, this old man has as many as 210,000 viewers online. Are there really so many people? Apparently this old man is really popular. This channel, as well as the broadcast, looked at how the old man stands on the water. They all thought that there was probably glass underwater, so that's how it is, and most likely it's an obvious scam and not magic or whatever it is. The old man said that his student would demonstrate his skills to everyone. Watching how a student walks up a steep mountain without problems, all the comments wrote only that this is obvious computer graphics or special effects. Repetitive editing is not visible at all. They also wrote that one of the viewers said that now they are more popular than any blogger, this cannot be a live broadcast. For sure this is all a recording. The old man said that if they are interested and can click on the link in the description so that they can find out all their practices, they can personally verify that they are not lying. In the comments they wrote that, as expected, these are some kind of salesman if he is so good. Why shouldn't he take part in the Olympic Games? 
The gentlemen, of course, knew that there would be haters. Under such a stream, everyone would think that this is really computer graphics, but he decided that he just needed to convince them all that this was not so. So let's connect all six to this broadcast. He began to write that it is quite possible that this is all real. Someone argued with him and wrote that he was amazed that in the 21st century, there were still people who believed in such things, and also wrote that he was a kid and therefore said that he first finished school and then wrote all sorts of things. The gentleman was very confused by this, and he also began to get angry because there are people who write everything so that it is not true. So he answered him that Tay didn't ask for evidence. He just started talking about how it was a fake. Why doesn't he go to the temple and you can't be sure of everything on your own? To which this guy replied that he was doing well because of the computer. Why the hell did he need evidence? After which he responded with three dots, and, to put it mildly, was shocked that he decided to refute facts without facts. And it was really strange. Therefore he began to write that he was with this plebeian. He remembered him for the rest of his life, and would force him to go to the temple so that he could confirm with his own eyes that it was true, to which he replied that, and so what? He can try to figure him out by IP. After such a denial in words, the gentleman really didn't know what anger was until that moment, after which his phone seemed to be recharged with a little energy, although it could well explode from such electricity that it delivers. But in fact, people saw something funny, or rather very scary. They all saw how the weather suddenly deteriorated because it was like an earthquake, the girl thought. The gentleman said that it would be better for him not to get noticed, otherwise this will definitely not end well. At that moment on the 2nd of November, Planet Earth was hanging by a thread from its destruction because of one literal guy who pissed off the master. New bloggers were discussed everywhere. Lately they have been very popular among students and masters. It seems that today they are throwing the Muay Thai Championship at bay. And everyone thinks it will end with a knockout in about 8 seconds. The guy showed about the broadcast. He said that it had finally started, and there was an old man fighting against the legendary boxer. Neither side wore gloves. A battle on the brink of life and death or what? They are all afraid that everything will end in three seconds. This is really serious. Everyone wrote only about this. The boxer wanted to hit the old man as hard as possible, for the fact that he volunteered to attack him, and threatening that he would win. Could it be that such a self-confident old man thought the boxer, he already knew what to do, and knew that everything would end in ten seconds or even less literally after one blow? But literally five seconds after the start of the battle, the old man abruptly approached the boxer and began to throw his first blow which most likely was fatal since it all ended too quickly. All the spectators were shocked that some old man was able to defeat the boxer. This was really news. Moreover, there is such a force that he was able to fly out of the boxing field and hit a column that even fell from such a blow. Perhaps all his bones were broken, and perhaps he will no longer go to boxing for at least six months. If he can get out. The boxing champion said the presenter was knocked out literally in a second, and everyone was sure that it was not a setup, and it was too surprising. Everyone came to the conclusion that the doctors decided to put him on a bed and go to the hospital, while all the spectators thought that there really was no truth. The old man said that it's a rather strange way to make a fool of yourself, but Chinese martial arts are vast and deep. If they want to learn more about them, let them follow the link in the description. There they can see a full-fledged course of Qi sensing practice. The guy was able to see that the description of the streamer, the download link and the like, was dizzying. In the comments they wrote that they had cured constipation and prostatitis with similar practices, but everything was interrupted by a short recording that the broadcast violated the community rules. This guy was able to download before the video files were deleted, so he wants to learn the art without paying for any reason. He decided to tell the guys that he had some cool gossip for them. The person who read the book just said what kind of gossip it was, how big it was and how important it was, to which he replied that it was incredibly important and big. You see, it's really something extraordinary. The boy decided to ask him. He saw the broadcasts of the master and the student, to which he replied that of course they saw unusual clowns who only know how to show all sorts of nonsense. He decided to intrigue a little, and say that he knew what just happened, to which the guy said that he was in a hurry and spoke closer to the point. The guy just thought about it and said that their broadcast had just been blocked, to which the other guy said, that is there really something unusual in banning such scammers. But he said that he should not rush, because he did not finish what he wanted to say. Immediately after the broadcast was blocked, he rushed to look for a recording of their broadcast and asked him to guess what he saw there, to which he sarcastically said that probably nothing. The guy said that this matter is not so simple. He also decided to ask how he thinks the video could completely disappear from the open spaces in such a short period of time. Again, 
the smart guy decided to tell him not to beat around the bush and speak faster if he has something to say. The boy was able to take advantage of the vulnerability of this site's server and downloaded some materials. But there are not many of them. But you can watch it frame by frame. Therefore, in the end, even such an idiot as he would have seen that in the fact that they did not lie, everything you see is genuine. That is, everything that they said is true. And there is no computer graphics here. The guy was surprised, because it's impossible if this is so. Can these two be people at all? To which the guy said that, by the way, he downloaded the entire practice of key purification, which they so advised. Maybe this is the reason for their blocking. Would you like to take a look? He asked the boys. But what he said was that he was not particularly interested in it. But it was really interesting to find out that it was actually interesting. Hoiki decided to write to someone, and there was an unknown ding that he wanted to read, although he was still angry because that guy wrote back to him. The gentleman began to read, and saw what the master said that there was a problem with the broadcasts, and the explanation of the platform was as follows. Due to the large number of reports, the broadcasts were temporarily blocked. The guy already knows that he should not worry because there is no need to rush. The effectiveness of live advertising is really high because 87 practicing monks have already reached the level of qi knowledge, which means that everything works as it should. The gentleman decided to tell what a great leader once said that even a small spark can cause a huge fire. And the fire of cultivating immortality has already been lit and it is not so easy to extinguish it. Since ancient times, people have cherished a cherished dream. They wanted to live forever and laugh in the face of death. Scientists have discovered that eternal life is quite real. Illness and death resists the temptation of eternal life they are unable to. Suddenly the phone rang. After the phone rang, the guy decided to pick up the phone and they told him something happened to Luo Yan. They said that he was in the hospital, so they asked him to come here. To which he agreed and said that they would be there right away. The guy and the boy don't even know what to say because, in principle, they guessed that he would be in the hospital. After that, they decided to ask what happened to Luo, to which he replied that the teacher called him and said that he was injured while playing basketball and now is in the hospital undergoing surgery. Arriving at the hospital, they were able to get here quickly enough thanks to the master, whose master asked him to take them. And then after the operation or during it, one of the doctors came to them to report what had happened to him, and he also asked if Luo's relatives had come, to which they will say that they are his roommates. The doctor said that the operation was successful. His life is not in danger. However, due to a spinal cord injury, weakness in the lower extremities of the body may occur. The patient should be prepared for the fact that long-term rehabilitation courses may be required. When they arrived to him, he greeted them with joy and a smile. But he also had no time for laughter since it was he, the head, who got into such a mess because of his carelessness. He decided to ask them why they were all so gloomy. What kind of despondency? He simply couldn't walk, and he would also change his specialty and continue his studies. The boy didn't know what to say, but he told him that he didn't know how to console him after such words, and the other said that he already specialized in Chinese languages and could accompany him to classes. The master knew that Luo was a cheerful and resilient great guy, in fact, but it was a pity that he was a mere mortal and did not have the spiritual root to accept him as a disciple. But suddenly the gentleman noticed something with his vision, and this object turned out to be a needle which most likely was after the operation, and in fact this is a very terrible vision. Therefore, something needs to be done about this, the gentleman thought. Therefore, unnoticed by the guy, he just quickly pulls out the needle and that's it. After which he said that he was not paralyzed, he could move his leg, to which the little computer scientist said that he should not move because he had a cast. After such news, the doctor decided to visit the patient and said that everything seemed to be in order. Was he mistaken with the diagnosis? The gentleman understood that this weapon was a needle. Such games are used by monks of the highest rank and are a dangerous secretive weapon that affects low monks and mere mortals. Those who were wounded by such a needle will not feel the slightest discomfort. At best, they will be paralyzed. At worst, they will die. But the guy was glad that Hengjizinia lived to see their days, and the practices were blocking him. Someone was driving a yin needle into Lu Yang. The gentleman became very curious, and he decided to ask how he was injured, to which he said that he himself fell. But this was not enough for the gentleman, so he wanted Parnesia to tell him in more detail how it happened. He said that at that moment, this freshman was truly something, and he played much better. His jumps are even better than those of John Howe, who was also considered one of the best, and maybe the best until this first grader came to basketball. But when he wanted to block it again, something happened after the jump. The lower part of his body seemed to be taken away, 
and he fell to the ground and lost consciousness. And only then it will begin in the hospital, that's what the student said. The gentleman immediately realized who this was. Jan Hao sounds very familiar to him. The boy decided to ask him, has he really studied here for so long? But he doesn't know this guy. No wonder, he said, he's a local celebrity at the university. One cold night, there was a man who managed to take off. More precisely, he could fly without any help. It was strange. After all, no one could fly in the 21st century. The old man and his assistant knew that this man really knew how to fly, even better than the immortal master. The elder decided to greet him at such a late hour. This sage decided to say that they were the thieves who stole the Siwan practice of purifying qi, to which he replied that the elder gave this exercise to the immortal master. What could he not expect? After all, only their John family and Mala family have this knowledge. How could some fake have such knowledge if the family intends to reveal these practices? The John family will not leave it so easily. Therefore, this old man decided to ask where the supposed master he is talking about is now, to which he replied that they met with the master only once, where he is now unknown to him. He was confused because he really doesn't know where he is now or doesn't want to say it. They were in fear because they did not know what to expect from someone who had acquired such energy, and also the power. He could use these techniques to destroy this place, and nothing could be restored after that. So they were. The old man decided to say that they don't know where the immortal master is now, and it's true. He didn't believe them. So he said that if they didn't want to talk about good things, then he would talk about bad things. Provided a thousand ways to explain myself. This technique that he forced to bow to him. It crushed everything that they had treasured all these years in an instant. He was really cruel, and also did not know what regret or truth was. He was also wondering if they had disappeared right under his nose or not. The old man told his heir that this man is terrible. He has practices that do not even leave dust from ordinary people. The guy couldn't help but notice that the master didn't understand what he was talking about. But if he told him the location of the immortal master, they would be safe. But the old man doesn't want it. The old man decided to tell him what he thought. If they really told him, he would let them go. Moreover, they have joined the immortal master and cannot commit a shameless act of betrayal. The guy asked how long ago the master became so serious, to which he said that he had always been such a guy but remained silent. The one who came never stopped talking. He told them that they think he won't be able to find them, and even if they hid in a secret room. The fact is that he had equipment that could show through walls and even across kilometers who was where, so there was no point in hiding from him. The old man realized that it was bad because he had found them. Therefore, he realized that the master had guessed this and left them a scroll with which they could change everything. When they took out the scroll, it immediately sparkled with bright light. The man said that he knew this magical weapon. The Ma family tried hard when they created it, but if he wants to escape so easily, they won't be able to do it. He also understood that he left a special mark on them, and he would find them even at the very edge of the earth. While the old man and the guys were dealing with that old man in the hospital, the following story continued. The boy said that Jean Howe is the basketball player with the greatest potential in the ZBA, he is good not only in basketball, but also in athletics. They also say that in order to pursue Chin, he refused the offer of the best U.S. team and transferred to their university. But when he was looking for information about him, he came across a couple of oddities. These oddities were really unusual. Almost all the athletes who once competed with him ended badly. A few days after his transfer here, he had a conflict with the captain of the basketball team. Soon after this, the captain abandoned Univer. Despite the fact that Univer tried to hush up this issue, there were rumors that John Howe had broken his arm. But the next fact is that in high school, one of John Howe's competitors allegedly accidentally broke his left leg during a competition and said goodbye to athletics forever. In short, the boy said that this is John Howe, an extremely dangerous type. Anyone who decides to cross his path will face a sad fate. The literary people decided to ask him how brilliant people could be inside, but the Luo guy also realized that judging by the way he said, he might be to blame for his injury. The gentleman thought that if these accidents are repeated, then this is a pattern. It essentially turns out that it looks like this is a needle, and really the body of John Howe's hands, since he transferred here for the sake of Chin. He is also connected with the spiritual liquid in her body. At that moment, the gentleman felt something. He realized that the old man and the guy had used the scroll. He told the guys that he urgently needed to go, and that he was returning to the university to do something. Meanwhile, this same guy was watching from behind the tree where he hid with the old man. The guy said that this scroll is a nightmare, much worse than a roller coaster. He would rather die than use this scroll again. A little later, while they relaxed their vigilance, a hoika approached them, after which the guy got scared and bowed before him, saying that he would save his master because he was unconscious. 
After which the gentleman came up and said that there was nothing serious. He just used up too much energy. He just lost consciousness. Rest for a few days and he would be fine. But what's worse is what the hoika said happened to them. To which the boy replied that a man who could fly came to the temple and said that he was looking for the one who gave them these practices. Mr. Master did not reveal the location of Mr. But that is why that man got angry and attacked them too. But the scroll that he left saved them both. The gentleman understood what happened. Therefore I thought that in order to fly, the level must be no lower than the built foundation. It seems the other side decided to go on the warpath. The guy thanked them and told them to go to his world to improve their own level. The guy of course didn't want this, but it was already too late and he ascended into this world. After that, while they were falling they saw two sides of the world, one dimensional and the other full of volcanoes. The boy realized that this place was somehow creepy for him. After which the gentleman said that in this world, they can only move in the bamboo forest to other areas, there is no point in lying, otherwise even he will not be able to save them. The guy replied that even if he had not said this, they still would not have moved. The master's apprentice saw that next to him was the same guy who had jumped off the cliff. The gentleman said that it was he who could not save him then, but that he would soon be resurrected. The guy was incredibly surprised because the immortal master can bring the dead back to life. Hoika replied that the dead cannot be reborn. This guy was just lucky before his soul had time to dissipate. He brought him here when his body is healed. He can get his soul back. In order for them to leave the university, Luo decided to change his major to information technology. Mister decided to help him. So ask what book he needs, he will find it for him. I don't need help, Luo said. He will do it himself. He has a long rehabilitation period and he can no longer constantly pull him. The gentleman noticed that he is so strong despite his physical disability, an ideal option for the return of the immortal. If the chance presents itself in the future, he will definitely help him. The computer scientist guy decided to tell them to take a look at this new video on the forum. Some woman, most likely a mother. It seems she saw that her daughter was able to walk again, after which she began to walk again, this is strange. So some people could simply run at the speed of light, which is why they could save human lives, which is also cool. It's like they're filming a series, or maybe people thought it was a fake car, or it was made of cardboard, something that didn't look like it was being filmed. No, the driver is bleeding, and the pedestrians are surprisingly okay. People thought that this was most likely a regulation, in fact it wasn't. There were also such cases that those who went to prison could get out without problems, and they were super strong. All the police said that he ate that there was so much dope in him, and that's why they also called for reinforcements with tranquilizers and they needed to take him immediately, they requested permission to use live ammunition. In general, the guy did not understand only one thing. Previously, he was not so sure, but now he is 80% sure. That this practice, which was so advised by that master, is genuine. This video looks too staged. The guy had a hard time believing it, but the guy said that a lot of these videos can suit his every taste. That is, the provocation that this may not be true is very weak. Luo decided to say that he would check it personally, in any case, it couldn't get any worse. Lord, I didn't know that he already thought it was worth a try. The boy realized that if this was the case, he was with them. And that arrogant Chitalov realized that this is the 21st century, and they are people with higher education. Eh, okay. He sighed and realized that they would forget about all this, but he couldn't win. Therefore they began to meditate, so that everything would act according to this book. Five hearts that turned to the sky, they all thought only about taking possession of this key. But the master understood that most likely they all want to use it in the name of good. But of course, there are exceptions that can be used for destruction. All of them had some kind of unusual energy around them that emanated from each of them. Having become an immortal emperor, he understood heaven and earth more deeply by creating the practice of purification. Fathers who are ideal for cultivation. Also the most important thing in this practice is spiritual energy to adapt to it. The energy of nature is like the sea with its ebbs and flows, Man is practically a heap like the reefs off the coast about which the waters of the sea spread around. If he is saved, if he retreats, he will perish. The guy said that it doesn't give him peace, and the one who is a nerd said that all he feels is general fatigue and numbness in his legs with this practice. Clearly there are some problems, he said. And while they were saying all this, the gentleman just calmed down and absorbed. More precisely, he adapted to the energy. Cultivating an immortal is far from the easiest task, for those who do not have the predisposition to do this, there is no point in doing it. They cannot bear the burden of spiritual strength, and for those who are weak in body, such practices will only become a burden. 
According to modern science, such predispositions can be laid down at the DNA level. Even the immortal emperor can influence this with great difficulty. Informatic decided to ask if they heard thunder, to which the nerd said that it seemed to him that this sound was coming from their main luo. Considering that his practice was useless, he needed to be woken up by trying to touch his shoulder. The nerd almost received a small electric shock to his body. He didn't expect that why the hell was he getting shocked. The gentleman paid attention to this. He did not see the mutated roots of the thunder spirit in him. A tornado was approaching the apartment, which could possibly harm everyone who lived in it. The gentleman realized that this matter smells of frying if he does nothing. The boy decided to follow the rules. The boy told him to go out for a while. The main thing is not to try to wake him up. Otherwise thunder will fall on them, and their entire apartment will fall right in this place from which they agreed and realized that it was better not to interfere. The young master went outside. He saw the heavenly eye that was looking at him from heaven and realized that one of his friends had a power that could belong to the thunder god himself. Hoika realized that even though his current level is low, he is still the immortal emperor who must win his position. And if he can handle the thunder, he can handle it. The old man and his granddaughter watched their battle. The old man was 75 years old, and he was a practitioner of golden chi, as well as his nine-year-old granddaughter, who looked at how some boy was fighting with thunder. She decided to ask her grandfather why it suddenly got dark, to which he replied that it was the feeling of a grieving person, and he needed to get out of here as quickly as possible. The gentleman clearly understood that it is not surprising that there were so few talented masters left on earth. Most of them simply lost their way. Suddenly, the gentleman was able to notice these two who were standing behind the trees and watching them from the side, he became curious about the golden chi practitioner. The old man noticed that they could see him and also his granddaughter, so he immediately decided to hide. Of course, he took his granddaughter with him, running away from this place. The girl decided to ask her grandfather what was happening and why he was running away, to which he replied that this man was terrible. The old man also realized that he was definitely an unusual person since he could grow to this level in this world. Perhaps behind him there is a completely different force that he imagined. The nerd thought that big changes were awaiting this world, and what should they do to continue studying or something, told him that this would not work for him personally. The boy said that we need to continue. After all, they cannot predict what the future will be, so there is nothing wrong with being prepared. If he already said so, then they really need to prepare. But by the way, he's been tormented by one question lately. He hasn't changed, or the opinion that over these couple of months they began to listen to what that guy says. The boy said that it could be because of his pretty face, to which his friend replied that it could be. While they were discussing nonsense like this, their friend treated him as best he could. After all, the guy said that you don't need to absorb energy, but adapt to it. And after such an adaptation, he was still able to take control of this force and stand up and finally come to his senses. They were surprised because he was able to stand on two legs after he immediately injured his legs. This is unreal luck, the nerd thought. And the boy said that it looks like he overachieved. How was he feeling? To which Luo replied that he was fine, and the pain in his leg had disappeared. He felt as if his body was full of energy. So he decided to try something, at least jump. After which, as he jumped, he abruptly found himself on the ceiling, having broken everything with his head. Nerd said that his leg seemed to be fine, but there were obvious problems with his head, and that the other guy confirmed that this was obvious. The gentleman stood on the edge and looked in the mirror to find out where that old man ran, and he also heard a roar and he saw that Luo was able to gain this strength and come to his senses, and was also able to stand on two legs. The young Hoika knew that, as expected, the rate of absorption of spiritual energy was terrifying. It was not for nothing that he was struck by lightning. Now he will come to a new level. The gentleman knew that this man would be his glorious trump card. Just as he could not have noticed, the practicing monks were 100%. It turns out that he finally achieved what he wanted initially, with the master's congratulations on restoring the level of qi purification at the next level. A hundred monks practicing qi purification must reach the level of foundation formation. Finally, he was able to return to that level. Through the sudden restoration of the level, it provoked a riot of spiritual energy in his small world, which was actually bad. His hand began to crack, or rather the armor that covered his hand. At that time, the boy who was the master's student said what was happening, to which the old man replied that it was like the end of the world, something happened by the immortal master. Although no, the old man thought, the master must be checking them out so easily they should trust him, the old man thought, which the guy really didn't really hope for. In real time, the clouds were gathering and also a certain funnel of spirits, or rather spiritual energy was formed that surrounded this city. 
the birds that were flying around the city began to fall to the ground because they had lost their spiritual energy. The dogs began to bark and also turn into rabid animals due to this energy. All the people didn't understand where the clouds came from again. They were even blacker than the thunderclouds that were before. Another said that what was happening was becoming stuffy. And the third thought that he felt that something terrible was about to happen. He also said that he heard drumbeats. This is not the end he thought correctly. Meanwhile, in a small world, a gentleman came here and wanted to fix the hole or at least do something. The old man and his students said that the immortal master would do something. Please, they are glad that he finally came to them in the small world. He started to close with his skill. After this, immediately in the ordinary world there was peace and quiet again, since his little world and this one were connected. They were again convinced that apparently everything was fine. So the sun appeared, and he was just scared to death of what could happen and does anyone know what had just happened, they decided to wait for the expert's explanation. The gentleman finally returned to the ordinary world, to the same place from where he left, making sure that everything had returned to normal due to the fact that he had patched up a hole in his own world. He understood that this was all because Luo is a brilliant child and cannot be ignored so easily, and in the end he is his roommate. However, he is not sure whether it is worth telling him who he really is now. It's best to let these two meet him, after which they both found themselves in the ordinary world from his usual little world. The old man and the guy were scared together and didn't know what had happened, and the boy screamed that the immortal master had saved them. The old man even became a little embarrassed and said that monks of his level are usually not able to use the heavenly ladder. As he sees, he didn't waste his time. After which, they went straight to the apartment in this building. After all, there is a guy named Luo in the dormitory. He had just broken through the stage of qi purification, barely starting to practice. Regardless of what method he will use, he will practice with them. And if he encounters something that he cannot understand, he needs to be informed and also answer all his questions. This is all that the master asked of both of them. The old man decided to remind him and also ask if the guy heard what the immortal master said. He must give his 100%, they can't mess up his expectations, and the guy also said that the master is really a real suck-up. The master said that not to take this lightly, the master is doing this for their own good, and also their qualifications are very mediocre, but the master introduced them to a true genius. It's not just that the old man thought so, and also, firstly, it makes them understand that they should not be arrogant. After all, there will always be someone better than them. And secondly, this is a stone in the garden of their propaganda. It is worth paying attention not only to the number of followers, but also to their quality. The master wants them to discover the measure of as many similar geniuses as possible. The boy told the master that he was exaggerating too much. They were all surprised that how a monk could end up in their dormitory, and the two who stood below greeted him. The old man replied that Brother Taoist, or rather Luo, had achieved great success in cultivation. They were here to congratulate him, and the boy also noted that they would be happy. Luo replied that this was all thanks to his leadership, and he also had questions for the elder. Can he practice with him? To which he replied that, of course, if he encounters any difficulties on this path, they will be happy to help him. The nerdy guy decided to ask Luo, is he not planning to stay at the university? To which he replied that he would not stay. Of course, he only now realized to what kind of person he lost. A simple man cannot defeat John Howe. He planned to devote time to practice. After this, the nerd realized that he really left with him. He also saw that he, the monk, didn't even look at him. It looked like cultivation was really not his. And the other said that he was a plus because he even envied this Luo. It was so easy for him and they were even with him have not come close to understanding this practice. After which, one of the passers-by threw a coin to these two as they stood near the road with a sad face. Apparently the person who threw them this money thought that they were poor or homeless, so he shouted that they looked like beggars or something. The gentleman replied that he had buns with meat here. Would he like them? To which the smart guy replied that where he went, they could not find him for a very long time. They sat closer to them. He said that after meditation he was hungry, so he went out to get food, by the way. He decided to ask where their head Luo was. The smart guy replied that, unfortunately, he left them. In the future they will be people with different social status. But how could the head do this? The gentleman thought. The guy replied that he not only successfully mastered this practice, but also decided to practice with that monk from the internet. Now there are only three of them in room 350. The gentleman said that it was good that he was able to gain ki. But he said that just yesterday he was a simple guy, and now in less than 24 hours, his worldview has literally collapsed. And if it weren't for him, this wouldn't have happened. 
The boy thought that she should continue to study this manual. The future cannot be predicted. But there is nothing wrong with trying to become better. At least they met with the founder. They are actively promoting this practice, the guy said correctly. He plans to join them and contribute to the formation of the new world. This was a real man's promise. Meanwhile, Chin and a friend were walking around the block where the guys were looking at them and discussing something. The friend decided to ask that she didn't even know this guy. She didn't have a number, but she was going to find him. She will just stand here and look out for him. This is the stupidest idea she thought if she continues to stand here it will cause a commotion, won't she ask Chin? But the girl said that she would wait at least a little longer. The guys were just talking about how she really was a hoika. Did she really come to the men's dorm who was looking for someone for something? Girls like her are the one and only. She's much better than these plastic stars. Her beauty even hurts his eyes. The guy told him not to yell. If anyone hears him, they will call him to the basketball field, and most likely they will kick not the basketball but his head. The same three wanted to come to the hostel. The smart guy said that this is where such a crowd comes from. He asked them to let them through. The guy was surprised what she was doing in the men's dormitory. Is he really waiting for someone? Well, the gentleman came up and she immediately paid attention to him and told him, Thank you for your help in the library that day. She also decided to remind her to come see him a little later, but she didn't have his contact information. And he wasn't in the library. So she came here to find him. The guys looked at her furiously and said that someone knows the guy she's talking about. Judging by the admiration with which she speaks, the guy is clearly not an ordinary guy. And the other says that what kind of fool decided to ruin all the raspberries for them? My friend decided to disband everyone and told them to all leave here. What kind of nonsense are they all talking about? She only saw him once. There is nothing between them. They all said that there was no need to explain anything. They understood everything. And that's how the second one said that he saw it only once. But she came to the men's dorm for him. Isn't anything clear here? The third one said that he didn't think that this would happen. So soon they were all saddened by this fact. The gentleman decided to say that it was too crowded here, but not the most suitable place for conversation. He suggested that Chin go somewhere in the forest, which is behind the university. The girl was very embarrassed, and could not feel anything other than embarrassment. She only said that only couples go to the forest. But no matter, she thought. Let it be as he says. Having lowered her embarrassed eyes downwards, she thought that it was strange and why she was obeying him. A friend came up and wanted to ruin everything for Melina, and told this ungrateful man what he had in mind, that he decided to take her alone to the forest. He was a 100% maniac. She said that this wouldn't work, and she would go with them. But Chin said that her friend asked him to stop creating unnecessary problems, and she needed to discuss something with him in private. The boy said that not only did their beloved leader Luo abandon them, but also Brother Hoika started an affair with Chin behind their backs. Another guy said that this is how it is. Apparently room 315 is a garbage warehouse like them with him. The guy said that he should be believed that the word is apparently completely superfluous. The forest behind the university is the real inhabitant of student love. Many couples choose it as a place for their dates. So all the guys wanted to kill him. Yes, and he says to be cursed, this is madness. He really invited her here in front of them. They also thought about it to burn this damn thing into the forest. The gentleman decided to ask her how she was feeling, to which she replied that she was much better than that time. Hoika decided to ask her if it was true that from time to time she would feel chills, which sometimes leads to fainting, and she also often dreams of the bright moon rising over the sea, to which she wanted to ask him how he knew. She didn't even tell her family about it. The gentleman said that the fact is that his old friend had the same illness, and he asked her to go with him so that he could heal yes. The girl said that how his old friend was cured, to which the gentleman replied that yes, he could. And she thought that they were clearly the same age. So why does he talk like some kind of old man? After which the girl decided to ask the next question. Is this disease difficult to cure? Maybe the elder of her family could alleviate her condition. Chin at five years old. The doctor said then that thanks to medical supervision, his baby felt much better. The old man decided to say that her hands were cold because of a lack of yan energy. Does he really have a secret recipe that he inherited from his ancestors? After completing courses of treatment, her health will improve. That day somehow she became worse and worse. No matter how many doctors she visited and how many medications she took at her age, her condition only became worse. Every day she felt like thousands of ants were cutting her from the inside. It was the worst pain she could possibly experience. The ancestor of the John family, and also John Howe, was a six-year-old boy. His family was able to heal this little daughter. The girl said that she seemed to feel much better, and the illness had passed. She did not feel cold or pain. The old man said that from time to time let her come to him. He will help her. The young man thanked him for saving his daughter. 
he did everything possible to pay him for his mercy. After this story, the gentleman decided to tell her that in fact what she calls a disease is not such a disease for monks, and the Jan family that helped her actually did not do so. Let's say for now she closes her eyes and gives him some tasks about perfection. The gentleman said that he would tell her information about the lunar spiritual root and the practice of improving the book by the moon, so it would be easier for her to digest everything. At least the gentleman thought it would be easier that way. The Taoist of truth does not really exist. The practitioner is the one who changes all the time. The Tao is immaterial, but thanks to the power of the spirit it can be read. The girl suddenly felt something, and also asked why her whole body was burning as if on fire. The gentleman said that it was the illusion of hypothermia that blocked the body's perception. He had just activated the lunar spiritual root in her body. And from that moment on, the master asked her to now sit and watch her breathing and begin to practice in accordance with the exercises that he had just given her to teach. Everything around now seems to be in a fog, right? He asked her. Even the couple who was a little far from them felt that for some reason it became a little cold. So she asked them to leave here. The gentleman expected that when activated for the first time, the lunar root would have incredible power. If it weren't for the power, he would have become an immortal king. Some guy really wanted how to quickly pick up the phone and answer him. At that moment, all the girls and reporters came to him and said that they all loved him, and also said that he was handsome. Well, as usual, a star, they all asked questions like, who had heard that he returned because of some girl? Is this true, or are they sure? Does he mean that this time he can get into the big leagues? While all these questions were being asked, his smartphone rang, after which he replied that didn't he tell him not to call for trifles? The guy said that this time everything is serious. Let him open the university forum now and look at it for himself. The guy said that it was his crazy bride who was waiting for someone in front of the men's dormitory, and then she went into the forest with him. All the people who were there on this forum, they all said that this was a sweet couple. They only go to the forest together. Out of anger, he almost broke the phone, and also told his friend to quickly catch up with them. The guy would immediately return to the university. Meanwhile, some couple were just passing by for a walk, but something seemed strange to her. The girl said that for some reason it had become very cold, and she invited the guy to return to school, but he reacted. So he didn't care. He said that what's strange is that the weather is like this all year round, and nothing like that can ever happen here. By chance, the boy decided to kiss some spider that had descended right in front of him. It was quite strange because not only was there a spider, there were also other wild insects that were running away from here since the climate here had changed dramatically. The boy even screamed out of fear, but a little later they saw a girl and some unfamiliar guy standing next to her. A friend of this guy said that here he was. They found him and it was he who stole the bride. The friend also confirmed that the bride's condition was strange, but did she also become a cultivator, the guy thought. He was surprised that there was another cultivator at the school. This school belonged to their family, and all cultivators were required to introduce themselves to him immediately upon arrival. The gentleman said that he was used to freedom, and he did not have the habit of reporting to anyone, to which he said that since they were both cultivators, they would solve this issue differently. Naturally, he hinted at a fight, so he began to attack first with his techniques. They also say that let him know his place, and also let him die because of his character. The gentleman understood that this cultivator is weak, since he uses animals such as the white tiger. Of course, he himself is not a weak animal, but he is also a dock. With just two fingers he was able to stop this beast. The boys did not expect that he blocked his blow with only two fingers. Of course, he guessed that there were stronger opponents than him, but still not so strong. The gentleman decided to ask him, Is this all he is capable of with such a good base for cultivation? He has never advanced beyond the average level, it's funny in fact. Then he threw him away with his hand technique, from which he fell and hit the trees and lost consciousness. The gentleman understood that it was really nice when you have such power, but even though he restored such a only completed level of chi cultivation, this should be enough to stall for time. How didn't suspect that it was him, who was at the middle level was knocked out with one attack. Is this guy really the only one who is strong? But what should we do to help him and wait for the experts from the family? He thought. He decided to reach an agreement with him, saying that if he is a friend, then let him believe him, because Chin suffered from hidden illnesses since early childhood. And if he teaches her to practice, he will only harm her. If he stops all this right now, he will pretend it's nothing didn't happen. The gentleman decided to ask him what would happen if he refused, to which he replied that then he would have to explain it to him differently, and he cannot allow her lunar spiritual root to awaken, the guy thought. Otherwise, even with the help of his ancestors, he will not be able to transplant her lunar spiritual root for himself. Master will be able to withstand a lot, because his body can easily withstand heavenly thunder. 
not to mention these small talismans. The boys couldn't understand that after a direct hit from his talisman he was fine. How is this possible? He thought. After which he decided to use his needle, which is capable of doing something irreversibly dangerous against an ordinary person. Those who ran closer and jumped on him, the boy shouted that if he wants to break through, he should only dream about it. But in fact, he was not aiming at Mr. but a chin, who was completely calm. She was also not safe. The guy approached him with incredible speed, and then took the needle to destroy it so that he could not use it on anyone, either on him or on Chin. He realized that this was the same yin needle. Apparently he was definitely the same Zhang Hao, and of course wanted to meet him in battle, but did not think that he would come alone. Chin was very scared, but she was still focused. The gentleman said that he was here and let her not worry, and continue to break through all this. He will help protect her. After which she continued to break through her key, and also control it. Having made sure that she would really break through now, he even panicked a little because he didn't know what to do in this case. He began to use his trump card. It could be dangerous, but he damn sure didn't want to do it, but apparently he'll have to. He asked Chin to stop immediately. Let her stop for his own sake, otherwise he will make her family pay a heavy price. After which he began to attack with such a huge sword so that the master could be killed. This was his strongest attack. But the master seemed much stronger than his trump, so he was able to block his magic weapon with one hand. He said that it was kind of a hassle to fight him, and he was also bored. Therefore, after that, he pinched him with his hand technique, and if he again tries to prevent her breakthrough, he will die. Here and now, it doesn't matter to him who he is and what family he comes from. Chained in his hand, he only thought about how it was possible that he actually, and at the very limit of cultivation, he had no chance of victory. The guy couldn't understand why only damn geniuses contact him. He got angry and said that it was obvious that the ancestor would no longer have time to transfer the root of the lunar spirit to him, and his dream was destroyed, and he would never become the most promising in the world of immortals. And now this dream is destroyed, so he decides to do something. The guy shouted that this hoika forced him to do this. While the gentleman was waiting for Chin to gain this power, this guy was not wasting his time, and he decided to eat the very crystal that bestows temporary power that can go beyond the boundaries of a person. With the help of this crystal fruit, he was able to bring himself to the stage of base formation, which the master wants to reach. Then he escaped from this fist, breaking it into pieces. Now he began to understand what the form and power of the base formation stage was. Summoning his sword back, he decided to say that if it weren't for his ancestor's desire to give him a cultivation realm for the sake of successfully transplanting a spiritual root, he would have already formed his cultivation base. The master understood that's why he didn't teach her the methods of cultivating spiritual liquid the existence of demonic techniques that make it possible to capture the spiritual roots of other people in the world of immortals has long been known. But apparently the lower the level of cultivation, the greater the chance of successful absorption. That's why they didn't want her to try herself cultivate, and so that it reaches a higher level. The guy told him that even if he found out, and that now he better get ready to die. After all, the so-called genius with his own hands he will crush him into powder and take her away and ban her so that she no longer dares to break through. The gentleman said that from the moment of formation until the cultivation of Qi, he did not really fight. Now this guy has interested him, and he is also at the stage of forming a base and can help him practice, to which this guy said to go to hell. Again, he stopped this blade with two fingers. Even if he reached such strength, it does not mean that he is stronger than him. After which he came even closer, he decided to hit him with his technique, to which he could not react in any way, because it is so fast that he is only ready to fly far, far beyond the mountains. The boy didn't understand why he lost because it was impossible. He rose to a higher stage but still lost to some key cultivator. He realized that something was wrong. After all, qi cultivators cannot use their power just to control things. They are able to transfer their energy into form. Hao simply didn't understand who the hell he was, but the gentleman replied that a dead man had no need to know that. He said that Mr. Hoika really wants to kill him. He didn't understand who he was. He said that he is the only heir of the John family, a family of cultivators in the world of immortals. And also his ancestor John achieved great success, and his father is the head of the John family. Does he really want to kill him after this? His third grandfather John is in the center of the kingdom of Yan. Murder, and if he kills him is the same as the death penalty, because he will be taken out of the ground in the world of immortals. The gentleman didn't give a damn who he was, is the family so powerful, he asked him, because he had never heard of any of those he was just talking about here. The boy says that it is impossible in this world, there is not a single cultivator who has not heard of their family. After which he decided to finally finish him off, 
so that he would no longer interfere in the life of this girl, who from now on would be considered his student. The guy just shouted at him to stop and not do it, even if he dared to do it, and he would be killed immediately. After which all that remained from that place was an empty trace from the blade of the sword that was just before. Of course, not everything. Maybe it's so simple, and his grandfather came and said that his name is Chang Xian. He is the third eldest in the John family, and he dares to ask who he dared to raise his hand against the young master. Hoika thought that his grandfather was at the perfect stage of forming a base, so if he was interested, why not ask him directly? The boy smiled with joy and said that this third uncle is why he is here. After which he looked at this Hoiku, who clearly would not be in the best situation now, so he said that it was just in time. After all, this bad uncle not only wants to kidnap Chin, but also tried to kill him, so let his uncle help him kill this bad man. Grandfather looked carefully at what was happening here, and noticed that Chin was at the stage of cultivation, and soon she would be able to master it. He asked him to shut up, and how did he even bring everything to such a state? To which he replied that the third uncle, this bad man wanted to kill his nephew, doesn't he care about that? To which he will answer that he was just passing by and did not know that his nephew had offended him. Jan wants to bury the hatchet right in this place and make a truce, of course. And also this girl is also a member of Jan's family and he can take her with him too. He said that he could go there but these two should stay here. To which the old man realized his superiority. He really wants to completely insult their Jan family. Since ancient times the Jan family has successfully gotten rid of any problems, no matter how strong they are so he decided to ask again. Does he really want to become an enemy of those who solve problems at the root? To which the gentleman replied that he dare threaten him, to which the grandfather said that he was simply stating the facts, and after all, he is an understanding person. He does not need to fight with his John family over the girl. The gentleman said that his words were reasonable, but how about he take a step back? Having thus taken Chin, he destroyed his nephew's cultivation base. The old man realized that it would not be possible to come to an agreement with him, and said that since he was so aggressive towards them, then let him not blame him for his cruelty. Well, he realized that again there would be no need to come to an agreement, so he decided to create those buildings that could be built and brought down on this upstart who wants to try to interfere with his plans. Having created a huge four- or five-story palace, he decided to bring it down directly on him. The building flew towards a person standing on the ground. The gentleman realized that this old man, he is still an ignoramus, his cultivation stage is much higher than is possible, and he cannot do anything to him in his condition. But he also decided to ask how he dares to try to suppress him with such a pathetic tower, he thinks that the immortal king is so easy to defeat. To which, from such words, he even shuddered a little and thought that he really was him. Yes, this cannot be the old man thought. Therefore, taking his word for it, he decided to leave with his grandson. They say that this man is too dangerous at the moment. How decided to ask his uncle, why are they running away from such a chi cultivator, when they themselves are forming a base? Even if he is strong, there is no way he can stand in front of the infinity tower. The old man said that this is just a copy, only a tenth of the power of the tower, and their ancestor took the real tower. He also said that he had never seen how in his life, even though in the world of cultivation there is a strict hierarchy. But there are completely different types of people. For example, a big black dog or a bald chicken, they were always against their family, no matter how many times their ancestors killed them. Everything is reborn. But this young guy is even more terrible than them, even though he is only at the cultivation stage. At the mere thought of him he begins to tremble, and it is most likely true that they have now fled. Otherwise they would not have survived this battle. Of course the gentleman was able to destroy this tower and survive, and thanks to his spirits, although it was one-tenth, it was still dangerous. These two were able to escape, of course, from Mr., but they were just lucky, or so they thought. After they escaped, my uncle began to spit out blood, because he could not do anything about the fact that he had overextended himself. The young man wanted to ask what happened to his uncle. Everything was fine, to which he showed a sign that everything was fine, and also said that just a copy of the tower was connected to his heart and blood, and apparently that guy destroyed it. The boy said what kind of monster is this? He is so strong. Although he is at the stage of cultivation, fathers, Although they are at a higher level, the old man will answer that perhaps his stage is much higher than they think. For example, the mother was already at the stage of gods. Although that article is completely unsuitable for use, but sometimes he was stronger than even their ancestor, and could also and did descend to the level of forming a base. The boy asked if he was from the Ma family. The old man will answer that in the whole world, this is the only family that dares to oppose them so directly. Although Hao no longer needs to go to school, but Chin is extremely important, 
we need to find a way to bring her back. The guy said that her spiritual root would soon awaken, and the ancestor said that if this happened, the transplant would be almost impossible. The old man decided to ask the guy, didn't he realize that all these years the ancestor had never done anything with her? The ancestor used such methods that no one in the world will be able to awaken its root, even if they find it will go to the Ma family, and they will be disappointed. The boy decided to ask his uncle about his ancestor. He replied that this is how kin is very important for him and our ancestor. Therefore, it is natural that they had a safety net, and all these seals protect her, and if necessary, can strangle her techniques so that she cannot manifest them in any way. But I think that in this world there is such a bastard, you know this technique, maybe everything will not go according to plan as they originally planned. This wolf, or rather his element, can ruin everything. The gentleman knew that this evil technique was unusually frightening. It was truly incomprehensible to ordinary people, but not to himself. The frightening thing about the techniques of evil is the unknown method of destroying them. But nothing in this world can resist the Tianyang mirror. He entrusts this technique to the mirror. Even after millions of years, the war seems to have not ended yet. He understood that he would have to visit this family in person. By the way, she had already begun to wake up. Qin was able to gradually master this technique, or rather, the mirror that the gentleman launched helped her. Hoika decided to ask what was happening here. He was sure she saw everything, to which she said that she was just thinking that why the John family had been helping her for so long. But it turned out that it was all because of the lunar spiritual root. The master said that judging by the current situation, they would definitely not give up on her. It would be better for her to stay by his side until she can defend herself. To which she embarrassedly replied that this really means that they will live together. That is, it turns out that she will be the master's mistress, and then they will be like a family and will be, well, like husband and wife. She agreed to such demands, and understood that she would obey him and carry out all his orders. She just reminded him how a long time ago, two thousand years ago, his friend also called him master and looked at him with the same grin. They are even too similar to each other, and she also said that without a master on the mountain it is so boring. Let him let her go down for a few days. It was after that moment that such a curse was applied to her. She was very angry with herself for not listening to him, and asked the master's forgiveness that she should have practiced harder, and not been lazy precisely because she was lazy, and it turned out that she would die in this place with this demon. After she disappeared, the gentleman said that it was the master who should have regretted it. Even as an immortal king, he did not think that he could protect her from any threats. It was at that moment that he promised himself that he would not make such mistakes. Therefore, he said that she should try if she learns to control her energy. If she can turn energy into ice, then he will accept her as a student. To which she passionately said that she understood and would listen to him and try the same. After which they left this forest away from him. Meanwhile, when this guy was thinking who would save him, he expected that there was someone alive at all. Let them help him and take him to the first aid station, or just call an ambulance. The walk they had was the most ordinary. They just wanted to get to the hostel so they could say goodbye to each other there. The girl thinks about him every time, and when she sees him she feels strange. They only met once, but she has a feeling that they have known each other for a very long time. She feels safe next to him, and also a powerful man like him must be liked by many. It feels like there is no end to this road, although she realized that what she was thinking about was all some kind of nonsense. The gentleman decided to tell her that after breaking through to the stage of qi cultivation, the connection with the qin practical techniques intensified. Within a radius of five miles, he roughly understood their location and level of cultivation. In fact, it's somewhere there, he pointed with his hand. Looking there, he realized that this was not the master and the student. Their strength was not enough to break through to the level of base formation. In fact, now it is written on the mirror that the cultivation level of base formation is one out of one hundred. If it is not them, then there is only one person left capable of this. The breakthrough was obviously successful, and why did his stage fall? Unless something happened. Suddenly someone was able to call the gentleman, and he decided to answer. Picking up the phone, he heard that his old man said that the immortal master would come to them as soon as possible because they had a problem. Something happened to his roommate, and could they come back and take a look at it? The gentleman decided to say goodbye to Kin for today, and says that they will meet right there in the afternoon. He needs to sort something out, so let her return first. To which the girl asked him, is he really leaving so quickly? After saying goodbye, he said that the Jiang family probably wouldn't let her go so easily, and let her remember what he said. Let her not go far from him. Coming to the old man, he said that the immortal master had finally come to them. He decided to show that if the master had not come, he would not have known how all this would have ended. It looks like he might die right now. But in fact, 
the old man noticed that as soon as they saw something was wrong, they tried to wake him up, but they couldn't break through this thunder dome to get rid of the evil creatures around him. The gentleman decided to check whether this dome protects its owner, or does it just seem to him that it doesn't. Although there is no rot there, the breakthrough failed. The gentleman understood that he felt the power of forming a base. He had clearly already moved to this level. In fact, first all the disasters, then the evil spirits. It is not surprising that the people of this world took the wrong path of self-improvement. In fact, then he can go on the right path. After which some kind of aura came from that guy. The master servant said, What is this? Where does such a terrible aura come from? The young master was able to notice that this small world is filled with an aura. It is also his physical shell. But for him, who has the lightning attribute, this place is best suited for practice. The moment he opens his eyes again, he hopes that he will be on his side. The old man was surprised and didn't know what was happening to him at all. He even thought for a second that something terrible could happen at that moment after hearing all this. The old man began to worry about this guy and asked the gentleman if this guy would be okay, to which he said that everything was fine. After all, he had some problems with cultivation, but he could help them, to which the master said that this was great news, after which they sat down and began to drink tea until the cultivation was completed. The young master wanted to ask the old man what he told him. The master replied that he was just about to tell thanks to the advertisement. The life of their master became popular. There are tens of thousands of people who are trying to break through using this technique. However, Less than 300 of them can feel the aura and move to the next level of cultivation. In fact, only among them 37 had reached the intermediate stage of cultivation, and two had also reached the perfect stage of key cultivation. The guy thought that this was actually not enough. In fact, the earth is saturated with spiritual energy, and a whole month has passed, and the cultivators have only reached the early stage of cultivation. Their capabilities are even worse than those of the master and disciple. Of course, he doesn't have much hope for them, but still, the gentleman understood that it was necessary to increase the number of cultivation, so he told the old man that among them there are those who progress faster. It is true what they do with them. The old master said that they had gathered the chi cultivators among the middle stage into groups. The elder decided to ask the immortal master. He asks for forgiveness, of course, but they all have a lot of questions, even though they were the first to improve according to his methods. But they are still at the average level so they cannot answer them and find questions. The gentleman said that everything is simple. Let them let them find the answers themselves. There is no need to rush, and when there are more people, he will choose the best and unite them into a group under his leadership, and they will answer all questions and solve problems. The elder understood and will now be calm, and he can also calm them down later. The young Hoika decided to praise both the old man and his partner. They both did a good job, but he hardened that there was no need to relax. We need to teach as many people as possible the path to cultivation. After which the great master walked away, but the old man turned to his partner and said that the immortal master had given them instructions and they should attract more people. The boy said that master is it possible that he and their account for live broadcasts were blocked two days ago, allegedly for propaganda of feudal superiority. It's true that a notice of blocking was written here because this account is suspected of violating community rules and was blocked by the system. If they have any questions, then please let them know our details for more information. The guy said that even if they create a new account, it will be right there will be blocked. So the guy said that Emma will need to expand her reach to people without live broadcasts. The old man said that he should make a tree and it would die. Move a man and it would flourish. Essentially, the old man wanted to convey the point that if they cannot work online, then I will do it offline, that is, on the street. And he thinks that their soup mountain was popular because of the leaflets. The boy immediately panicked because he thought that the master had he gone crazy. This was their pension. At this rate, they would become truly poor. He said that the teacher would give him his last lesson. They need to change their thinking. Now they are cultivators and do not have to see the world through the eyes of mortals while they follow the immortal master will be able to live forever. So why do they need money for retirement? The boy realized that this actually makes sense. The gentleman decided to come to the academic building of Longjing University. He thought that in this world of lies and hypocrisy, gifted people are often envied by talents such as Hanji. Luoyang prices have certainly become targets. However, the greatest thing that both the immortal teacher and his student can do is to identify some natural talents of spellcasters with ordinary abilities. Perhaps for his current body, it will be enough to lay the foundations of his golden core, but it will be difficult for the master to understand and raise spiritual energy.
He understood that it was they who had to personally find these potential spells and cultivate them as a teacher in this university at the same time. The two spiritual roots of thunder and moon were discovered even during the golden age of the continent. I'm not like that, I'm rarely seen. I don't think there are other talents in this institution. And in the boys' dormitory, as they had already checked whether there was not a single gifted person worthy of his personal leadership, only the women's dormitory remained. The gentleman just realized that he would have to go and pursue the female audience because he had not scouted her out. But what kind of attack was stuck on him, he thought, if he was in the prime of his strength and his spiritual creatures would cycle on you, an instant eye could cover the entire earth and immediately discover spellcasters all over the world. And now his abilities can only cover a space of twenty meters. Yes, thought the gentleman. The search is moving very slowly. The gentleman decided to go in it to explore something. Naturally, with the help of his eyes, he looked at what they were doing there. They were talking about what the girls heard, that on the mountain a ghost was being robbed in the grove, and the other girl said, Oh, well, it can't be like the first one said that tonight, a young couple from their faculty met in the grove, so they discovered some kind of creature, and also noticed something flying in the sky. Suddenly the gentleman saw that in one of the girls who was now taking a shower, she had a noticeable fire, which was most likely discovered by the tie-in. Contact the teacher, and said that there is an anomalous flow of spiritual power in the north. To look there, there really was a lot of spiritual power, which means that someone there could be really strong. Two people in white coats were talking about how many times he said that the so-called gifted child does not exist, and the other argued that next time, if he finds out that he is messing around and does not look at his exceptionality, he will immediately fly out of here immediately. Let him remove this equipment from here. This same student who is now practicing in science, he was a little saddened, but he also didn't care. And these are universities in the faculty of physics of a student with a special special set of yin-yang. A little later, the gentleman made his way here and decided to see what he was doing here. As this guy who saw him said that this classmate when he entered, after all, this thing is dangerous. Let him not touch it. The gentleman said that it was interesting that such electrical circuits could still be used. He decided to tell this man in a dressing gown that he was very interested in these devices. And he was also interested in that gifted child that the teacher had just mentioned because he could tell him more about him. The guy said that in any case, this was the last test, and he is not afraid of what will happen to him and even if he will be mocked if he tells him something. He said that he is a physicist who believes in science, but for some reason since childhood, he has felt a strange energy all over the world. But no matter what method you use, you cannot prove its existence. Whenever you try to transform it somehow, an explosion immediately occurs. All of them only said that he had gone crazy, and also everyone called him that he would kill everyone, and told him to stop now these dirty experiments as ridiculous as he himself. Those who know and consider him crazy, maybe he really is crazy. But he knows for sure that this is not possible, but still he cannot help but experiment, because these energies that have been haunting him for a very long time have become interesting to him since childhood. The gentleman understood his situation, and said what he thought and whether there were other systems of knowledge in the modern world that differed from the scientific one. The boy thought a little and said that the universe is even if human knowledge is limited, he will not be able to give answers to what has not been proven. The gentleman decided to show him his strength in order to ask him what his science thought about it. Literally five minutes later, he was able to make something behind the gentleman's back. He said that he was tired of playing this since he was in school, and he also told how it is created. You just need to pour gas from a lighter into a washing-up bottle and set it on fire, and there is fire in your hand. The gentleman realized that smart people really cause trouble, so he decided to use a slightly different method to show him that an unusual force existed. Having raised all the objects around, he hopes that he will believe that magical properties exist, as well as techniques and everything that is said in the world, and he can believe in it and also believe in himself. The guy didn't understand. After all, they are probably suspended on a magic silk thread or not. If you use a magic thread, the suspended objects will definitely begin to spin around their axis. He still decided to ask her how he did it, that he is ready to listen to him. The boy immediately felt like Doggy and told the great man to please explain this to his younger brother. The young Hoika said that there are also blind spots in knowledge, and in science there are still unexplored areas. But still, the boys were wondering what it was then. The gentleman said that in a very remote place, people call this the life ether and as a result of its combination with natural energy, a spiritual principle arises. From such words, the boy even got motivated, and began to continue doing something in his micro-circuits in order to create something interesting. He really didn't know whether he would succeed or not.
he said that as long as spiritual energy is visible, the experiment can be continued. After which it went up to 100%, this spiritual energy is concentrated into one mighty ball. The boy could not believe it. He said that it was incredible. It is still known between matter and spiritual energy. It is not surprising that previously its existence could not be proven physically. But it was bad because something bad could have happened in the end. Therefore, the gentleman decided to save this greenhouse by saying that the concentration of spiritual energy exceeded the point of spiritual explosion. The master began to destroy this spiritual power so that there would be no nuclear war in the near future. Although these are just words, there could be a huge boom in the city. After everything exploded, only this laboratory suffered a little damage, but everyone was alive and well, and everything seemed to be in place. But there was a huge amount of steam from this explosion. The guy even ordered it and realized that this time too, nothing worked and everything was the same as before. The gentleman said that no, not everything is as before. This time he succeeded because he created it. Deciding to come a little closer, he said that it was just a miracle. The young master said that the artificial spiritual stone of the false path of heaven has so changed the earthly laws that spiritual stones and elixirs cannot appear in nature. In fact, however, it is not controlled by a few numerical clans. If we succeed in blaming modern technology and overcoming the limitations of the false heavenly path, it will be great in the development of immortality for all humanity. And in this case, the master will be able to free himself from such an earth faster. The boy just observed this art and said that it is simply amazing that so much energy is stored in this stone. If it is possible to release it stably, it will inevitably lead to a new energy revolution. While this guy was saying this, his assistant approached him and having made sure of what caused the huge explosion, he realized that this guy was involved in all this and therefore wanted to punish him for it. But he also saw that he had created something. When the guy saw that the professor came into his office, he said that he was on the right path. In addition to the damn basic forces in physics, there are others. Of course, Professor Bell was a little surprised and also understood that this was most likely all nonsense. If someone found out, their university would become a laughing stock. So he said that if he really found the fifth force, he would immediately receive the Nobel Prize. While she was saying this, the security guards came and asked the professor what had happened here. They heard some kind of explosion. He paid attention to them and said that everything was fine. Just a small explosion occurred during the experiment. The professor thanked them for coming because it was not their responsibility and said that everything was fine. To which they replied that if nothing happened, then they could go. The boy wanted to ask the professor to listen to him, to which he then said that he should pack all his things and get out of here immediately. He doesn't want to see him at the university. Of course, he expected something like this outcome, but he understood that in fact, he achieved many successes literally with this explosion. The Lord on the boss. He said that he saw everything with his own eyes. After what just happened, he can no longer study here and also work in this laboratory. Therefore, he said that he could buy the necessary equipment so that he could continue his research he guarantees that his results will belong to him. The gentleman knew that the old man said that in addition, his mobile phone is linked to his bank card, so he could ask how much the equipment costs in general. The guy decided to calculate on a calculator how much it would cost approximately, and said that a system for engraving printed circuit boards would then need a Ren Dark and a fractometer as well as a scanning electron microscope. Well, and basically everything else. In general, he got a little bit of money, 10 minutes and 238,000 yen. This made even his jaw drop, because he understood that most likely the old man and this guy didn't have enough money to invent his own laboratory. But those who decided to say that he had just touched spiritual energy and was very familiar with it, to begin with, he would give him one contact. Let him contact a person named Henyun. The gentleman told this guy not to just say that it was from him and that he would explain everything in detail. He also wanted to note that once he had sufficiently studied spiritual energy, he would be able to select equipment for it. To which he was convinced that the boss was a real genius, and also the kindest person he had seen, because he realized that the boss, after he cleaned up here, would immediately go to the Unifanium. All the people stood on the street and within a meter, they heard a bunch of voices around. In this place, in response to the call for a healthier nation, in order to popularize the local culture, he decided to open his own diary, as well as his own books of exercises, and they decided to conduct practical courses to strengthen their bodies. The boy, of course, worked together with the old man and told them not to crowd and get in line for everyone. They also sold some other products. For example, eggs. The boy said that this grandfather here are eggs for him. And also, let him hold a very good book. The practice of key will be able to return to the practices. When there is time, 
This practice will strengthen his health much better than taking nutritional supplements. The boy, after a working day, asked the owner that it seemed to him that this advertising was too expensive for them, because at this rate, their meager pension would end in no time. Old man so this kid doesn't have to worry about how he thinks training goals is good or bad for them. It was difficult to resolve this issue, so I think that it's very good. That's exactly what the old master said. Sometimes you just need to wait and that's it. But at the moment they are in action. But when will people understand their plan? They will take the initiative to put this information into their hands. They will take the initiative and independently disclose this information and will also talk left and right. The gentleman decided to climb the tall building of his university to make sure of something he didn't know. He decided to ask the mirror something. He understood that he had an innate inclination towards spiritual energy. Most likely, he was born with the spiritual root of the earth. In addition, he is capable of producing energy that the master can help. And Jan is lazy and is himself a rare spellcaster, so he can focus on his improvement. All universities have been thoroughly researched, but it's a pity that, with the exception of lazy, no potentially gifted children have been discovered. The mirror said that the teacher would read this because a real gifted one in a million at Ligin University studies from 20 to 30,000 people in proportion, you can find three spellcasters. The gentleman said in surprise that this means the probability of discovering a genius is quite high. This seemed quite interesting to him. He also thinks that yes, she has it, it is very famous in his, and the entrants have a fairly high IQ, and people with spiritual roots are much smarter than ordinary people. To find even more gifted and immortals, you will have to visit all the famous universities. It seems that in the near future you need to make a plan and simply examine all the functions of the country one by one, according to the ranking. And suddenly, while the gentleman was thinking, he saw something, some kind of limousine in the distance, and also a bunch of people were crowded there at the gate. Isn't it kin? Who are she and her? He saw that she was surrounded by a bunch of guards, and also a lot of cars, like a regular gathering or simply taken outside of this university. Maybe she lives far away, but she doesn't have so many guards, which means something definitely happened to her, and most likely the old man was involved in this and his nephew. All the guys said that Sister Hanya is actually the eldest daughter of the Han family. Is it really so lucky? The other one said that his parents work in Hannah Group and he wants to work for the eldest sister. Hanna III said that when he came to his senses, he thought it was so easy to get into a famous company. Suddenly his phone rang, and he immediately realized that most likely it was nothing like that, and she was definitely in danger now. The gentleman decided to read what was written there, and saw that Chin had written such a message, like that Mr. Father came to pick her up from the university, and said that her mother needed to meet her, and it seemed to her that something was wrong with her father. She could not say anything correctly, but approaching him, she gets some kind of creepy feeling, as if he is not himself. And in general, she decided to ask maybe it is not her father, or possessed by evil energy, what the master will order her to do. He immediately realized that it seemed that most people were staring wide-eyed at the spiritual root of the moon, Wu Chin. It's not surprising that he just now felt that something was wrong before leaving. He needed to quietly sort it out. I saw the teacher and greeted him, and also said that he had finally come, glad to see him again. There was also a friend nearby who said that it was this guy again. The girl decided to introduce the guy to her father. They say that he would meet her teacher. He managed to cure her chronic illness. So if her mother has health problems, he can help her. What did the father react to? So let's not hurt feelings and let's go home quickly. The gentleman immediately saw that they were all sealed with the energy of that grandfather who most likely controlled them. Using the ability of hypnosis, he said that he was allowed to go with them. The father was clearly difficult to hypnotize him, but quite simply, by the way. So immediately he said that it would be good then to do this together. She was a little surprised because she heard that her father agreed to this. She decided to ask why Uncle He would really allow him to go with them. All the guys who saw this said that damn the relationship is developing too quickly. They have already met the parents. The other says that, by the way. And where recently I wanted why he didn't even participate in a basketball match. The third said that maybe he was just closed. And the fourth said that their hesitations would lead to defeat. They need to act proactively. Together they decided to get into the car and most likely go home. Chin, at least the gentleman thought so. The girl saw that her father had empty eyes, and they could not tell anything about himself. It felt like he was empty inside and only a shell was of his body. Hoika understood that if the spell was removed from the soul right now, that person could disappear again. Apparently you need to look for wind in the field, and only then will you need to remove the spell from it. The young lady said that the teacher would rather see what was wrong with her father. 
She also said that she was incredibly scared because of where they were going. The gentleman who decided to calm her down told her not to worry since they were together and toasted to her father. Everything would be fine. And by the way, they arrived at an abandoned mine that had not been visited by miners for a very long time, and most likely some kind of base there had broken down. It was clear that this place was either abandoned or a place that should not have been tampered with. But how could a place that should be a blessed cave, the birthplace of a spiritual source, become so gloomy and deserted? Father Chin told her that Mom was inside and they would have to go there with him. All the security asked that Miss go a little further into this room. The gentleman decided to intercede and said that they do not know what is happening inside, so stay where they are and let her wait for him. Father Chin said that what is he talking about? Her mother is looking forward to her. The gentleman said that these people really don't give a damn about the performance, but they need to act it out more believably. Having gone inside, she hears for the first time that patients were taken into an abandoned mine. But even if they decided to run away, since they were in this place, then let them return to the issue of hunting for souls. The boy decided to ask the third uncle if this was too offensive for protecting groups, to which he replied that it was because he did not understand how important it was. After all, taking into account the abilities of the Semijan, it is not a problem to grow ten Han families, but the spiritual root of the moon, like Chin, appears only once every ten thousand years. If something goes wrong, no one will want to blame themselves personally for not being their ancestors. Suddenly they saw that something was wrong, and they also did not expect to see a guy they knew that this man did not say to do. Like a gentleman, he walked straight towards them. The old man immediately realized that he needed to use the soul-hunting technique because Chin could be broken by this child. The old man realized that, nevertheless, it's good that this guy is here, because there is a way out of heaven. But there is no way out of hell, the old man said. The gentleman knew that this old man was here, so he asked him politely to leave here and show himself in person. He decided to go out and say that since he had the courage to come alone, it turns out he will stay here forever. Of course, father, I was able to come to my senses after time, because he lifted the curse from him, to which he immediately asked Chin. This young man whom she just brought would be okay. The girl said that nothing would happen to the teacher because he saved her once. Meanwhile, the teacher began to fight, and he understood that this structure was absorbing spiritual energy. Could it really be that interesting for him? The gentleman thought. The sage said that now it is too late to find out. For thousands of years, the John family has been killing practical spellcasters, and she also helped the great being provide sources of spirit throughout the world. The guy didn't understand what he was standing next to, the source of the spirit that had long been sucked out by the essence, the old man said. And also, if he places exactly the direction of the forces there, he decided to ask what he thinks will happen in this case, if you are the source of the spirit completely, and how the sponge, compressed to the extreme, will drain his spiritual energy until he turns into a mummified corpse. Ha! Huh. The old man laughed. The boy said that it's great that it will be like this. Even despite how electrocuted he was, he would still be able to defeat him even with such or other wounds as for this old man. They were all shocked that nothing happened to him as they expected. The guy even told the third uncle what kind of monster he was. Where did he get so much spiritual energy from in his body? He just realized that it was not good. It was too bad than he expected. He understood that since this was the case, extreme measures had to be taken. The guy decided to scream so that his uncle wouldn't dare do this. Has he gone crazy? And this creature was sealed for 1,000 years, and if it breaks out, not only will they have fun, as if it will be in danger. To which his uncle no longer listened to him, and said that this spellcaster is very dangerous until he destroys them. It is necessary to wipe him off the face of the earth, and before it is too late. Therefore, the old man decided to throw his spell directly at him, so that he could again Sunday the same monster that he cursed 1,000 years ago. And his family moved this scroll from generation to generation to keep it locked up. But this grandfather was so crazy that finally he, this monster can be reborn. Once inside this gate, he was able to open it. This monster was a truly terrible creature that devoured everything in its path. And if he doesn't stop it, no one can stop it and all people can die from this creature. After all, no one knows how it can be sealed. The gentleman understood that the spiritual sphere of the guardian of the mountain had gone crazy. Has he really reached such a level that now he doesn't know what to do? However, such a creature is often born in famous mountains with spiritual springs. If the spiritual spring is seriously damaged, then the creature is likely to be in a state of madness, turning six into a bloodthirsty beast. This is something between an ordinary fox or a wolf, as well as creatures that are covered with complete black energy that can destroy the whole world if it is not stopped. Of course, this creature can be controlled, but it is very difficult, 
and also costs so much that perhaps all its power can dry up if you throw a stick. The old man did not stop talking and said that he would now seal these two monsters together. The master understood that since they needed spiritual energy so much, he would kindly allow them to drink it to death. After which he began to make his techniques. This old man has already gone completely crazy, thought the guy who stood next to him. After which the old man suddenly splashed out this energy on the guy. When the monster began to eat him, of course, he tried with his energy. But there was so much of it that he was even torn a little. The old man could not understand how it was even possible who he was. After which there was so much energy that he could only burst into himself with energy. Mr. Truth was a fierce hero who could defeat anyone who stood in his way, even if this was only his initial stage of prosperity. And he could defeat anyone at this stage. The old man simply could not understand why he actually exploded. This is simply impossible. Then he returns to his world. Even the immortal families couldn't do it. Who the hell did the old man think? This is completely unthinkable for him. He realized that co-religionists are the only personal matter of the John family. He can assure him that the John family will never attack Chin again and will not make life difficult for themselves. Han will simply forget about it. Hearing what this old man was offering, he said why would he decide that he had the right to enter into a deal with him? To which he became even more angry and said that his superiors were really not afraid that their family would die and the line would be interrupted. The gentleman, to put it mildly, did not care and it was as if he had fought and killed countless enemies all his life and was never afraid of anyone. He also stated that last time he ran away, but it won't happen again. The guy didn't know what to do, so he asked his uncle what they should do in such a situation, to which his grandfather replied that their only way was to join forces and fight together. He said that he was sorry, of course, but the magical weapon given by the ancestor can only protect himself. After which he disappeared, and grandfather remained here and realized what betrayal from his family was. He understood that the guy was greedy for life and fascinated by death. He realized that it seemed like he was destined to die today, but he wanted to do it beautifully. Therefore he began to attack him with all his might as soon as he could. Having struck him in front of the master, some unknown spirit and its aura appeared. He said that somehow maybe he really defeated this monster, after which he saw how he wanted to swat him with a huge hand as if he were a fly. Grandfather wanted to take over, but nothing worked for him. After that, he died in his own agony and disappeared. He had all the energy in his body and he was like that very skeleton or the mummy as he himself called about the master.